Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shredder Fury CC3 bringing you an exhibition match. As usual on Saturdays, the Zero K exhibition stream. Kind of a typical thing that I do on Saturdays, so this is no exception. We're going to start out with the game between Google Frog and Aquanim on Intersection. Without further ado, let's begin. So, Google Frog starting in the southeast corner of the map, going for light vehicles, while Aquanim in the northwest corner of the map, going for jump bots. A little bit of an unusual choice on this map. I. I think I've seen it once or twice before, but honestly, it's not... The terrain doesn't really make jump bots all that much more favored than anything else. It's mostly ramps. There are some cliffs that you can go over, like right into the main base, for example. But overall, the main advantage of using jump bots is going to be the units themselves. Like using pyros, fire... well, pyros, moderators, placeholders, firewalkers if we get to that point in the end. But probably going to just be pyro mod, maybe placeholder. Right now, just a couple pyros to go out. No puppy, surprisingly. Right at the start, I'm a little surprised Aquanim didn't go for any puppies at all. Well, Google Frog, light vehicles into Dart and two slashers. So Google Frog definitely wants to defend a bit in their main base. Doesn't want to build static defenses, just wants to defend. And Aquanim first to get attacked. The Go Google Frog will very quickly get hit by this pyro. Oh, sorry, there is a puppy. My mistake. There is a puppy. And the puppy, however, is not walking into the base. Just keeping an eye from the outside while... Aquanim tries to get rid of that dart. Having a very hard time doing so, but his pyro eventually catches up. And Google Frog still gets a lot of information while Aquanim has none. Like, Aquanim has no idea what's going on. That puppy has not done anything to actually get in the base. A little bit surprised. It, it's able to go up this ramp. I don't know why that puppy is not doing anything, but I guess it, I guess Aquanim just wants to see when Google Frog is actually going to be venturing out of their base towards these four metal extractors. I mean, the main base itself is going to be hard to penetrate anyway, so I'm not surprised. It's just not the most usual thing. But it's not terribly surprising, so... Whatever, go with that. And the puppy does not manage to do too much. Gets a bit of damage on the commander. That's a... That's not terrible. Not great. But now, pu well, placeholder is coming up very quickly, and the one pyro, Aquanim is... Expanding more slowly. Google Frog already getting a bit of a head start. And the Slasher's doing a pretty good job defending. Not really sure where the placeholders come in here. The Slashers, I don't think, can fire while they're being jostled around in the black hole of the placeholder, so that makes sense that way. But otherwise, not totally sure. And Aquanim guessing Google Frog gonna be going over to the northeast. We do have a power of double checking to make sure there's nothing being built there. And a puppy going over to the southwest to double-check that as well. But no, Google Frog sticking to the center. Very confident. It's keeping their slashes together and sticking to the center. Taking well, one of their expansions here. I'm not sure why they don't have their mason going and taking the other. But one of the middle extractors to the south... Sorry, the south. The bottom has been taken. Their mason is going along to get other nearby expansions on the low ground. Or other nearby metal extractors, I should say, on the low ground. While Aquanim getting more pyros... And does see that Google Frog not going for either of the corners. Does have pretty good vision of what's going on there. Not perfect vision, but definitely pretty good vision. And the Slash is moving forward. Google Frog already going for the offensive. Very confident that Aquanim is not doing anything. And they're right. Aquanim isn't really doing much. They're kind of staying in their main base. They do have Pyro around. They do have a Slash... Sorry, a Puppy around. But they actually aren't really sending out a whole lot of units. They certainly aren't sending out any Freakers to go expand. They are sticking entirely to their main base. While Google Frog, they've been expanding. They've been getting set up. Aquanim, not so much. Although, at this point, their economy is even. But Google Frog's in a much better position to expand and continue to expand. I mean, this entire territory is theirs. Pretty much the center is theirs at this point. or kind of softly theirs. And they could fairly easily take the southwest or the northeast. And it looks like they are not going to even bother trying to get either of them. The Slash is just slowly creeping up the hill. Aquanim, not really prepared couple defenders are in place to try to deal with these slashers, but honestly, that's... That's not really going to do too much. And the Ravager doing what it can, although actually this is not bad. Pyro doing a decent job on the Ravager. Taking it out, but unfortunately it's not... Well, the Pyro is not going to be able to actually kill the Ravager, but that's still, that's good for Aquanim to know, if Aquanim didn't know already. Yeah, there's no surprise at all. Ravagers do not have a particularly fast projectile. The Slashers are the threat. That's the real problem. That Ravager is... I guess the Ravager is there more for moderators and such, just to really tank the damage that moderators can dish out. 
but not from Pyros. Slash will take care of the Pyros, and actually Slash will take care of the placeholders as well. And it looks like I was right about the way the Black Holes interact. Yeah, they cannot attack while in the Black Hole, while dancing around like that. Which is exactly where the placeholder works, and that was a very good choice by Aquanim. Getting rid of all the Slashers and forcing Google Frog back. Google Frog's commander way out of position. This is going to be a very, very damaging blow if dealt. But unfortunately, these Pyros do not bother to go for... Well, maybe not unfortunately, but they do die, unfortunately. That's the problem. They didn't go for it, they still died. Like, if they just didn't... If they survived, that would have been fine. But unfortunately, they didn't. Which... Didn't get any damage on the commander, either. Still, Aquanum is not in the best of positions. Google Frog does have most of the map under their control. They have the northeast they're going for, or at least they're patrolling around. The southwest they can easily take if they want to. No masons about them, though. There's only two. One in the main base and one expanding out to the south... Well, out to the low ground. I keep saying south, I mean low. Well, Aquanum going over to the northeast, and it's going to have to contend with the dart, but that won't be a problem. There's the Pyro going over there. That'll finish it off. No, no issues. No problems. More Slashers coming in, and the placeholder, once again, needs to do its job. Getting rid of a few more Slashers, or at least getting them off the ground so the Pyros can deal with them. Yeah, more Slashers being pumped out, and getting Levelers. Now, this is what Google Frog needed in the first place, was more Levelers. Because Levelers do have the fast projectile, they can take out the Pyro immediately. And they survive a bit longer, and they don't have to worry about being place held. Goofrog, however, is still being very forward, which is not surprising. I mean, they're able to get their slasher line back very quickly. They now have a caretaker, which is going to be reclaiming all this stuff. Can it reclaim the street lamps too? It, it could, but probably won't. Yeah, you can reclaim all this wreckage. And that's... how much wreckage is that? That is 900 metal worth of wreckage. Google Frog is basically going to get for at least a minute and a half twice the economy of Aquanum. Actually, Google Frog already has an economic advantage, but it's going to be doubled compared to Aquanum for about... Like I said, a minute and a half, at least. Assuming nothing else dies here. And yeah, there we go, the caretaker already pulling in all the metal that's abounding. Of course, the one problem is that there's no energy to deal with it. That's one. That's something that needs to be built up. And a pyro coming back here to try to harass. Doing a decent job, but not good enough, and unfortunately, those slashes are not the best target. That pyro was on a suicide mission. Probably would have been better served going to... All the caretakers. Actually, getting the wind generators. Killing the wind generators would have been best. Because at that point, Google Frog wouldn't have been able to use the reclaim that they're grabbing. It would have been all excess. They would have lost a ton of metal and ultimately it wouldn't have helped them at all. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. And the Northeast has been taken, but the levelers... Well, not really taken. Being contested. The most charitable thing I can say for Akinum right now is the Northeast is being contested. While Google Frog pretty much takes this out... Well... Patrols the southwest. The Mason is close enough to the southwest it could take it if it wanted to, but Google Frog not too concerned about getting the corner expansions. And the leveler about to get rid of this Freaker. Freaker hasn't got much to go for it. And the placeholder once again managing to get one and only one of these slashers while Scuttle goes around. And is that Scuttle gonna go for a commander kill or is it gonna go for Oh it doesn't matter, that's that Scuttle has been spotted. Doesn't get any damage off whatsoever. Not even close, and Aquaman realizes that was their only hope. Their only shot, throws in the towel, and that is game. Bit of a short game, but that was the game. So I'll have another one for you guys in just a moment. Should be a bit longer. It will be between Ottawa and Aquanim, and that'll be on Onyx Cauldron. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a minute.